Hi, I'm Dr. Nicholas Sermus. Today you've chosen to learn about the ACL, or the anterior cruciate ligament of the knee, and how it gets injured, both from direct and indirect trauma. How it occurs as isolated, but probably a combination ligamentous injuries as well. Hopefully your mechanism of injury in your clinical note will document what forces were suffered by this knee to produce this event. Let's examine this knee for an ACL injury. First, we have to know the window of the knee, a bony landmark. Let's isolate the patella, mark the inferior, superior, medial lateral poles. A finger breadth below the inferior pole of the patella is where the femur articulates with the tibia. That's your joint line. Let's do the classic jerk test for a knee. Let's bend this knee up 90 degrees, stabilize the foot, usually by sitting on it, Let's cradle the proximal tibia with both our right and left hands and now slowly try to draw or jerk the tibia anterior relative to the tibia. Watch that red mark, watch the joint line of what happens as we draw that tibia anteriorly. It subluxes. This is a mild ACL insufficiency. The jerk test is classic and one that everybody was taught. A better test is the Lachman's maneuver. We do this with the patient supine and the leg fully extended or mildly extended. We know where the joint line is. We cradle the proximal tibia, cradle the distal femur with our left and right hands, and we simply try to shuck them anterior posterior relative to the other. Watch the red line, the joint line again. This gentleman has a mild grade one positive Lachman's test. And just like many other examinations done on the knee, if there's a mismatch between a small examiner or a large patient, sit down, let the knee mildly flex. You can do all the same maneuvers, the Lachman's test, in this method as well. Watch what happens to this knee when we do this very test. Your clinical notes, both the positives and the negatives, are crucial so that you and Texas Mutual can arrive at the correct diagnosis for this patient and his injury. Thank you for watching Workplace Diagnosis.